بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Continuing with verse 38 of Surah An Naba. Sheikh Saadi Rahmatullahi Ali commented saying, On that day, the angels would descend and surround all the creations of Allah Azza wa Jal. in a state of submission to their Lord, them and everyone else. Then he quoted the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal of Surah Hud, verse 105. Allah says, يَوْمَ يَأْتِ لَا تَكَلَّمُ نَفْسٌ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِهِ فَمِنْهُمْ شَقِيٌّ وَسَعِيدٌ The day it comes, no soul will speak except by his permission and among them will be the wretched and the prosperous. As the verse states, this one and Verse 38 of Surah Naba, Surah Naba. There will be permission for certain classes, for certain creation of the creations of Allah Azza wa Jal to speak. There are different narrations. We mentioned throughout the different sessions that prove that intercession is something that will take place on the Day of Judgment. Messengers and prophets will intercede. Angels will intercede. The believers will intercede. But again, no intercession will happen unless and until Allah the Almighty gives permission. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah verse Al-Kursi, verse 255, مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يَشْفَعُ عِنْدَهُ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِهِ Who is it that can intercede with him except by his permission? Allah says in chapter Taha, verse 109, يَوْمَ لَا تَنْفَعُ الشَّفَاعَةُ إِلَّا مَنْ أَذِنَ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنِ إِلَّا مَنْ أَذِنَ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنِ وَرَضِيَ لَهُ قَوْلًا That day no intercession will benefit except that of one to whom the most merciful has given permission and has accepted his words. So, there are two conditions for intercession to be accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal. Number one is that 
Allah Azza wa Jal must grant permission for the person interceding or for the one interceding to intercede. Number two, Allah Azza wa Jal should or accepts what intercession is taking place. Accepts the intercession of the interceder. So two, per, two conditions. Allah's permission and as per the verse and Allah's acceptance of the intercession. Now, as we said, different creations intercede with the will and permission of Allah Azza wa Jal. But the one who has the greatest intercession and the different types of intercessions is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shaykh ibn Baz rahmatullah alayhi enumerated seven types of intercessions Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be permitted on the day of judgment to do or make. The first, and it is called by the scholars, al-shafa'atul uzma, the greatest intercession. It has a narration that is reported in the book of Imam Muslim, but it is very long. It will probably take us three sessions to recite it and then comment slightly about it or on it. So I will just take, I will summarize it and take the portion that we want. That narration describes the situation of people on the day of resurrection after they have been resurrected and gathered and they stay on a day as long as 50,000 years only waiting for accountability to start and people will go through a lot of suffering one of which is that Allah Azza wa Jal commands the sun to draw near to people, it would be as close as a mile. The narrator of the narration said, I am not sure if this refers to the distance mile or the mile which is the stick that is used in the mascara. They call it also meal in Arabic. But at the longest of the two distances, a distance, a mile distance. That is very close. And the narrator said, people will start sweating and will start drowning in their sweat, each in accordance to his sins and disobedience. Some will have their sweat go up to her, their heels, some up to their knees, some up to their waists, and some will drown in their sweat. A very difficult moment, a very long day, a very hard day, a very terrifying day. On that day, people would start talking to one another, saying, let us find someone to intercede. And they will go address the prophets and messengers one after another, starting from Adam to Ibrahim to Musa to Nuh to Musa to Isa. And each one of them would reply, my rescue, my rescue, myself, myself. Go seek it from someone else. These are prophets and messengers until they reach Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he will say, I am for it, I will do it. And then he will go and intercede 
for accountability to start. Only for accountability to start, not for anything else. That is the first type of intercession. The second type, Shaykh Ibn Baz rahmatullahi alayhi, mentioned is an intercession the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will make for those whose good deeds and bad deeds were equal. Those who came with good deeds equal to their bad deeds, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will intercede with Allah azza wa jal to admit these believers into Jannah. The third type is the intercession he will make sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for those who were supposed to be thrown in hell, not to be thrown in hell. The fourth type is an intercession he will make sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for those who were admitted into paradise, Allah Azza wa Jal admitted them into Jannah. He will intercede sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to elevate their ranks in Jannah. Allah. The fifth type, Shaykh ibn Baz rahmatullah alayhi mentioned, is a special intercession for those who committed major grave sins to be pardoned. And taken out of hell fire. The sixth type of intercession is a general intercession for all those who testify to the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal who were thrown into hell to be taken out of hellfire and admitted into Jannah. The last one is a special, another special type of intercession, the seventh one. That is granted to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his intercession for his uncle so that the punishment will be reduced and it will be reduced. But he will be receiving the minimum type of punishment which we mentioned in one of the previous sessions where two live coals will be placed under the person's feet and his brain would be boiling as a result. And he will be the least person punished in hell, yet he will be thinking or believing that he is the one who is tortured and punished the most in hell. The first and the last are two special types of intercessions. The greatest intercession for accountability to start and for the intercession given to his uncle are two distinct to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Others, and there are others, for example, the intercession for the believers, that is in common between him alayhi salatu was salam and other messengers, and the angels, and believers, as we mentioned. With this, we will conclude this session, and we will resume next time, insha'Allah, with verse number 39 of Surah An-Naba. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa akhiru da'wana, an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.